All right. Laredo face mask, man. What's going on in Laredo? What's going on, guys? Lockout, man. I am here in the truck. <laughs> what I say? In the truck. I'm so used to saying that now. But I'm I'm here at the house getting ready to get back into the truck. Yeah. Get back into the truck. Get back out there. Get back to grinding. Get back to doing the damn thing. Get back to helping people. Today's topic, man. I, I got this from my guy, Jarvis Jones. He linked me in a Facebook post that's telling me that Laredo, Texas, is going to the extreme to counter this uh, this uh, virus, this outbreak that's going on out here. What's going on, guys? I am your host, Lockout Men. Welcome to Lockout Men Podcast. I am glad that you guys are here. This is it, this is wild times that we're living in now. We got another 30 days of the stay at home, the mandatory stay at home order. If you're not part of the essential workforce out there, then you got to stay at home. But then again, I always say, what about for the homeless? What about for the people that don't have a home? How are you going to force them to stay at home and curve this outbreak? I don't think you can. Is it possible? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. No. You guys tell me. Tell me in the comments, man. Well, today's topic. Yo, before. Be, wait, wait, before I go. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That little that little thing right there at the bottom that's going across the screen that says like, subscribe, and all. Yeah, make sure you make sure you do that for me. It helps out the channel. It helps out the channel a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yo, check it out. My girl Pinky of keeping it 100. You know, Pinky, keeping it 100. Let me let me see if I can bring her channel up for you guys. So you guys know who I'm talking about. Whoops, I said 1,000. <laughs> 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. Yes, sir. Keeping it 100. That's it right there. Keeping it 100 experiences. This is who I will have on Saturday. Yes, sir. I moved up the schedule. Uh, I actually had somebody else schedule for Saturday, but everybody kept emailing me saying, yo, when is that pinky interview going to come out? When is that pinky interview going to come out? I was like, man, look, hold up. It's coming. It's coming. So be prepared. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to get notified for this interview right here. It's going to be epic. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. There we go. As I was saying, it's going to be epic. Yes, sir. Keeping it 100. All right. So... Let's get on to this, uh, to the topic at hand, man. Uh, do you guys know that Laredo, Texas have went to the extreme? I mean, they, they drastic measures to curve this virus, this outbreak. They went as far as to now they mandated a Forced wear a mask on your face ordinance for 30 days until the end of April. If you go into any public area like stores or or gas stations or anything like that, you have to have a mask on. If you don't have the mask on, Laredo says they're going to attach your ass. One thousand dollars. Let's go to the report to find out a little bit more. 
Laredo, Texas is serious about halting the spread of coronavirus and it's ordering citizens to cover their faces in public or risk a $1,000 fine. The Laredo Morning Times reports that the city council passed a measure that requires individuals over the age of five to wear some form of cover over their nose and mouth when in public. The order specifies it's when someone enters a public building, uses public transportation, or are at an outdoor gas station. Violators of the order, which is in place until April 30th, can face a fine of up to $1,000. The city council also broadened and... Now, that does not stop there. <laughs> no, no, no. It does not stop there. Nope. It does not stop there. It is extended to us truck drivers as well. Yes, sir. It is extended to us truck drivers. It says here that truckers traveling in or throughout Laredo, Texas, they got to be advised that if you don't wear a mask or, or a cup or a face cover while you're in public, meaning that if you go to the rest stops, uh, if you go to the truck stops or anything like that, you will be subjected to that $1,000 fine as well. Now, I'm thinking to myself, like, how is Laredo, how is Laredo is going to, uh, how is Laredo is going to enforce that? Now, maybe against the citizens, it probably might be a little bit lax, but for us truck drivers, I mean, if we go into a truck stop without being, without having a face mask on or something like that, what are we going to do? Are we going to get snatched up by, by the employees there until a cop comes and say, hey, he's violating the ordinance? Laredo. I mean, now, I mean, Laredo, what you doing? You... You're gonna start you're gonna start another mad dash. What about the people that don't have these masks? Now they gotta go out and make a mad dash to buy them for 30 days. Now, now don't forget we need them for 30 days. We need a stock for 30 days. It's a mad dash. Y'all gonna make a mad dash for all of that. Everybody rushing out to their Walmarts, to their targets to their home health aid uh, stores you're gonna have people on the corners like yo i got them face masks got them face masks 10 for a dollar <laughs> you know what i'm saying or they probably might be like 10 for 10 for 50 50 dollars if you don't want to pay that thousand what's 50 dollars bro what is 50 dollars What is $50? I mean, if you don't want to pay a thousand, you just go ahead and pay this 54 box of 10. I'm just saying on Thursday, April 2nd, which is today at 12 a.m., 12.01 a.m., a new face mask mandate went into effect for anyone going into the public within Laredo city limits in effort to combat the outbreak. That's for us truck drivers as well. If we come into the city limits and we don't have a mask on, we're going to get hit. We're going to get hit. We need to wear a mask, some form of, of a covering of the mouth and nose, such as a handmade mask, such as a scarf, such as a bandana, such as a handkerchief. You got to keep your face covered while you're out, out and about. These activities that you're out and about that you're doing, they're including, uh, they're including not least entering or entering into or inside of any public buildings, using public transportation, Taxis, ride shares, pumping fuel. Now, drivers, let me let me see if I can reiterate this to you. If you're not already wearing gloves or anything like that while you're pumping fuel, you should have been wearing gloves already. Because I don't touch the diesel fuel without putting gloves on anyway. Now they want you to put a face mask on while you're doing that. How do you guys feel about that? 
I, I think in this terrible times that a mandate that forces you to wear a mask, all right, which is which I I personally don't have a problem with. I just have a problem with the fine trying to make money out of this tragic situation. Why are they going? Why are they going as far as to find somebody a thousand dollars just because they may or may not know of the mandate? It don't extend. It it don't extend to that. They they also have a citywide curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. The council voted to Im implement a mandate for all people to begin wearing protective face masks or nose to mouth covers while outside their homes, either on public or private property. Let's let's rewind for a second. Let's let's go back to the curfew. From 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. though, for real, bro. I mean, what about the people that that work third shift that gotta go to work third shift? What are we gonna do? We're gonna get pulled over. Hey, bro. Yes, officer. Where are you going? I'm going to work. Don't you know there's a curfew right now? I'm a grown ass man. What do I need to have a curfew for? I'm on my way to work. I work third shift. What? I gotta have some type of of letter saying that you know some some hall pass or something like that that released me to go to work at this certain time of the morning but then again who the hell is up other than the essential worker but who the hell is up at at three two three o'clock in the morning anyway other than us truck drivers a curfew a city ride curfew the council clarifies that the face covers does not need to be an actual face mask. It could be any type of fabric, scarf, bandana, uh, bandana, or anything that will suffice. So it doesn't have to be a face mask. So I guess the bum rush to your local Walmarts and and healthcare uh, healthcare stores need not to be suffice. Okay, we kind of calm that down. Everybody, everybody, including us truckers, will be, if, if found to be in violation, will face that $1,000 fine. So truckers, if you're at the pump for whatever reason, and you got to, uh, and you're not covered up while you're pumping, and let's say a sheriff or a cop comes by you, be ready for that ticket, bro. Maybe, hopefully, maybe, hopefully, they will say, they they will probably say, uh, we'll give you a warning this time because you didn't know about it. But we got companies that sending out, uh, that sending out messages to their drivers via their Qualcomm's and their people nets. One such message is good evening. Uh, I'm not going to mention the company's name. The city of Laredo, Texas has passed a law that goes into effect at 12.01 a.m. April 2nd that requires people to wear a face mask or or mask their mouth and nose when entering a public building, pub, pumpy fuel, riding in riding in public transportation or riding in uh, ride share vehicles. The enforcement is this, the enforcement is suggesting a scarf bandana will be enough as long as it covers your nose and mouth. This law is in effect until April 30th and carries a $1,000 fine as is always our promise. We will do everything we can to keep you informed and up to date on information as it comes in. Crazy, right? Crazy. Violators will get charged one thousand dollars, though. One thousand dollars. I I get it. 
I understand about the safety. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. Why execute a fine? Just tell people to wear the mask, man. I'm sure that's I'm I'm sure that they would do it anyway, regardless. But a fine of a thousand dollars, though, trying to make some money out of this pandemic is is such is such a bad deal to me. I mean, again, I know it's all about safety and the protection of of everybody that's involved but wow man wow one thousand dollars i don't know what to say i i just just don't know what to say i mean we we cannot drive through laredo I mean, we're truck drivers. We got commodities that goes down to Laredo, down to the borders all the time. You know what I'm saying? But what about what about our friends that's coming across the border? How are they going to get the information? Well, I guess when they come through the through the checkpoint, they'll get it. But what if they don't have it though? Would they be would they, would they be subjected to getting a thousand dollar fine? I'm just saying. Well, shout out to my man Jarvis Jones. Jarvis Jones for sending me the sending me the link. If you guys have anything that you want me to talk about or any articles or anything like that that you think is worth uh sharing, definitely let me know. Get at me at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or hit me up in the DM over at Instagram. Also, if you guys want to come on the podcast and chop up your experience or anything like that, get at me at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Yo, come and talk to me, man. Don't, you know, don't be no, don't, don't be no stranger. You know what I'm saying? If you got something on your chest that you want to talk to me about, come on, bro. Let's get it off your chest. And that's and that invite is to everybody, because, again, like I said before, there's there's no fake, no fakeness over here. There's nothing to expose over here. You want to chop it up, chop it up. Come on. Lock out me in podcast at Gmail dot com. Get at your boy. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk. Let's 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 do the damn thing. Um, Other than that, that's about it. That's about it. You guys stay safe. Stay washed up. Wash your hands. Do like my man. Hold on right quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, do like my man, Samuel L. Jackson. Do what he say. He says this. The Rona is spreading. This is no joke. It's no time to work or roam. The way you can fight it is simple, my friends. Just stay the at home. <laughs> yes, sir. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. But we still got to we still got to get out there and, and interact, though. But. Listen to what Samuel Jackson has to say about the hands. Now, technically, I'm not a doctor, but mother listen when I read a poem. So here I am, Sam and Jackson, imploring you, keep your ass at home. If you want things to get back to normal, don't panic. Just use your dome. Wash your hands. Stop touching your face. And stay the f- at home. Yes, sir. Stay at home, y'all. Stay at home. Yo, this is Lockout Man. And I'm glad that you guys was here with me to, ch- uh, to, to spend some time with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. If you guys want to come on, yo, y'all know what to do. 
Hit me up in the Gmail. Hit me up in the DM. And on that note, we are gone.